Speaking of something funny, we got some huge good news. B big, big news. Big news. Here we go. This comes to us from Eurogamer, and it happened earlier today. Me and Gray have been talking about it for quite some time now. It says, Rocksteady hit by layoffs after Suicide Squad killed the Justice League underperforms. Man. Oh, you love to see it. Uh, hey, wh I, what happened? Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened? Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Ha oh, what ha oh, no. What happened? Oh, man. So, uh, yeah. And the fact that this is Kevin Conroy's big last performance of uh, being portrayed as Bruce Wayne and Batman. They ended up killing him. And I believe at the end of Suicide Squad Kills his Justice League, there's actually a quote-unquote homage or a tribute to Kevin Conroy. But how can you put a tribute to him? You know, like, it's... it's. I feel like they did it after the fact that he died. It's because he made, when he made this game, of course, he was still alive and then he died afterwards before the game came out. And the fact that you put that in there is sort of like, hey, we, we're going to destroy and kill one of the most iconic voices in, you know, freaking cinematic history, you know, like TV performance or whatever. Kevin Conroy is the Batman. You kill him off. At the end, you put in this really crappy, oh, we will miss you, Kevin, after we killed the Batman in the story. Man. One staff member made a redundant while uh, <laughs> while on paternity leave. Okay, just letting you know, whenever there are layoffs um, and they lay people off when they're on paternity leave, I know a, a person who's um, who's happened to, you know, this happened to a person that I know personally. Their thing is that they're restructuring. They're not laying you off, but they're restructuring. That's how they can do that loophole because you can't get laid off if you are on paternity or maternity leave so there's something you know so and the, the only way that they can let you go is if, if there's some kind of loophole let's see uh rocksteady staff have told Eurogamer of redundancies at the studio following the underperformance of Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. The company's QA department has seen its size almost cut in half over the past month. Now, if you guys don't know, I worked in QA before. Whenever a game is winding down or a game underperforms or whatever, or the game's getting done, um, the first department they cut is the QA department. The first, the, 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 once, once the game is out, they cut the QA, uh, the QA department in half. And if the game it's a is a live game service, they typically keep them on is because there's gonna be new seasons, new uh, you know, battle passes or whatnot. But the fact that they cut them and this game is a live service game, given the fact that it's a single player game, goes to show that this game sucks horses nipples. Holy crap, man. Uh, Eurogamer understands from 33 team members to 15 with poor sales of Suicide Squad directly cited as the reason for its restructuring. Exactly. Restructuring is a basically uh, workaround um, terminology they use to lay people off for whatever reason. It doesn't matter what you are doing, right? Uh, see, the job uh, the job losses extend outside of QA2. One staff member posting publicly on social media over the weekend revealed that they had been told they were being made redundant in the middle of their paternity leave. Eurogamer has con uh, contacted Suicide Squad uh, publisher Warner Brothers for comment, but has so far not received a response. Rocksteady staff, who requested to remain anonymous, told Eurogamer that the loss of so many roles in the developer's QA department, including team members with specialized knowledge, would leave their remaining colleagues shouldered with more work. Um, there is a terminology in the game industry and in the corporate industry called corporate math. If you guys don't know what that is, what it means is that we're, um, the math isn't mathing correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to save a lot of money by laying off a bunch of people. We're going to let go of a bunch of people. But at the same time, we're going to keep the same amount of asks. We're going to, you know, we're going to lay a bunch of people off, but we're still going to we're going to still have the same amount of work. That is corporate math. And that's how these studios fuck their um, actual employees. It, it's, it's sort of sad. I've, I've gone through this at my studio. I've um, and, and a bunch of other studios I've used to work for, which is really, really shitty. Um, let's see. Uh, there's also been knowledge, uh, acknowledgement by Rocksteady senior management that the product quality will now suffer as a result. Stay staff. Uh, sorry, staff say. Staff members affected by the job cuts include numerous junior staffs but also several team members employed at rocksteady for more than five years last month warner brothers reported a 41 percent fall in gaming revenue on year to year of course the fall, the previous year was huge based off of 
Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Leg Legacy's, um, I guess you would say, Streisand effect in terms of it being, uh, you know, don't play this game, boycott this game, made it so much more money, which is fantastic. Now, um, of course, due to this game being a shitty game set in the Arkhamverse, according to what I heard, one of the best Batman interpretations to have ever existed is the Arkham universe. And now you kill him off in his own universe. And out of all people, done by Harley Quinn. Pretty shitty, in my opinion. Especially last performance of Batman that's actually, you know, from a well-known pre-existing IP, right? Such as Arkham. Um, weak performance of Suicide Squad after previously saying it has lost $200 million on the game. Work continues on Suicide Squad's year of post-launch content, though nothing has been said for what, if anything, will come next. Rocksteady's talent is so evident in Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League, it almost overcomes a terrible decision to try to make it, uh, and try and make it, reads Real Gamer Suicide Squad review. Yeah, it's pretty sad, in my opinion. Now, if you actually go to uh steam charge this is suicide Squad kills the justice league how many people are playing right now 66 people are playing right now this is really bad this is a dead game batman arkham arkham let's do game of uh, let's do game of the year edition right arkham asylum 341 man yeah suicide squad kills the justice league um, it sucks for the people who work at Rocksteady because the game looks pretty good in terms of uh, how it looks fidelity wise and the graphic wise uh, character designs and bringing in uh, you know gender swapping you know Mr. Freeze and Mrs. Freeze uh, giving us um, ugly fat looking characters literally shitting on the legacy that is the Justice League and Kevin Conroy rest in piss you won't be missed no one's gonna care about this no one's gonna be talking about this in probably a couple of months.